Hello, and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to take a quick peek at the preview of Windows 11 23H2 and some of the new features and compare them side by side with the current release 22H2. The preview version demonstrated in this video is OS Build 22631.2338. Let's get started. In File Explorer, there are a few visual and functional enhancements. First is the subtle appearance difference. In 23H2, we see that a revamped navigation bar is located above the toolbar, whereas in 22H2, it is reversed. The view dropdown has a slightly different look on the home page. It looks more similar when navigated into a driver folder. The Show Detail button is now prominent and provides a quick method to toggle the Details pane. When the Detail pane is enabled, it provides a little more information than the Details pane in 22H2, depending on the selected content. It also provides a convenient Share and Properties buttons. The tabbed interface that was introduced earlier in 22H2 is still present. However, with 23H2, dragging off a tab will now open a new window, whereas in 22H2, it did nothing. The 23H2 update now brings native support for 7Z and RAW compressed files. Although I don't have the compressed with option that has been shown elsewhere, I can extract a 7Z file using File Explorer. I may have to wait until the official 23H2 release to get the full functionality. In 22H2, without the 7-zip utility, which is great by the way, I cannot take any real action with the file. A feature that was present in Windows 10 has made a comeback, Taskbar and Grouping. Open Taskbar Settings and Taskbar Behaviors, now we have combined Taskbar buttons and height labels options that are not available in 22H2. Also notice here on the Taskbar page, at the Taskbar Items section, the Chat item is now removed in 23H2. However, by default, Teams is now pinned to the Taskbar, but it can easily be removed by unpinning. The Volume Mixer adjacent to the clock has a new flyout presenting some additional options that were previously only available on the System Sound Settings page. In 22H2, it basically just shows you the speaker output selection options. Remember Steve Ballmer's .NET presentation? I sure do. Developers, 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 developers. Developers, 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 developers. Yes! In 23H2, on the Settings system screen, is now a For Developers section. In 22H2, this screen is under Privacy and Security. However, in the new 23H2 version, there is a subsection called Dev Drive. The Create a Virtual Hard Disk is exactly the same as what was already available via disk management, just with an updated GUI. Really, nothing new here other than the presentation. Actually, there's a slight accidental mismatch. Can you see it? The Create a Dev Drive is, well, the same thing. So, but we do see that the System, Storage, Disk, and Volumes page is new with these two new additions. Also, there's a new Dev Home app that can sync with your GitHub account. However, most of the popular IDEs, such as Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code, already offer this feature. The 23H2 update brings a new, dedicated Windows backup app. However, to use it, you must have a Microsoft account and OneDrive. 
So if you're a user who does not have a Microsoft account, this may not be of much use. The Settings Accounts Windows Backup page, however, remains unchanged. For the RGB crowd, 23H2 has native support for compatible hardware devices such as backlit keyboards, mice, cases, etc., without having to download third party vendor software. Under Settings Accounts, 23H2 provides a method to use pass keys for applications and websites that support them. 23H2 brings a new welcome change with virtual desktops. When changing the desktop via Control Win, left or right arrow keys, the desktop name now shows at the bottom and there is a new transition animation. It is nicer, cleaner, and better than before. This was a quick peek at some of the most visible new features provided by the 23H2 update. However, this list is not exhaustive. The new AI-based Copilot is a major new feature reported to be shipping with 23H2, which I have not covered here. When the release version of 23H2 is shipped and provided via the Windows Update service, I'll revisit and see what, if any changes are present. I hope you enjoyed this video, learned something new, and found it useful. If you have any feedback, corrections, or suggestions, please let me know in the comments below. Please like, subscribe, and pass it on to others. And I thank you for watching.